Heroes, anti-heroes, villains, and henchmen all around the world. This is Power of Comics, and I'm your gracious host, Super Sean, Mr. Boom 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 himself. Like, comment, and subscribe to the channel, baby. This is the jump off. And then today, I'm going to give you all my favorite reads so far of this year now this isn't an all-time top five this is just my favorite books that i've read throughout the year so without further ado I'll give y'all my first one <laughs> bruce banner hulk volume one by peter david what a surprise baby man this whole series kicks booty. I mean, I don't even know where to start, man. Hulk was never my favorite character. He was never my favorite Avengers. I would say he was actually my least favorite. But you know you're a good writer when you can take a character and make somebody who doesn't connect with that character love that character and connect with that character. I play the Avengers all game all the time. I didn't start playing with Hulk until I read this run. <laughs> like, I'm so serious, man. Come on, he becomes Mr. The Mr. Fixes stuff. Sheesh. Working for the mob. Getting it, man. Like, the way he broke Hulk down and, and, and made it his own, he's legendary. He became one of my favorite writers just for this run. Peter David, man, he did his thing. Six more omnis of it. And I'm telling you, if you haven't read none of this stuff, psh, you sleeping. This is great. This is great comics. The art by Dale Kiwan is so, so good, man. I mean, sheesh. Let me move on to the next one because I could literally talk all day about how good this book is. Next one, Spider-Man vs. Venom. I got two words for y'all. You already know where I'm going with this. Maximum carnage. That's all you had to say and I was in. Y'all were, I mean, I had the game for Super Nintendo back in the day when I was just a little Super Sean, man. You know what I mean? I used to get down on the Maximum Carnage. Black Cat was on there. Uh, oh boy, uh, Doppelganger. Um, Venom. Spider-Man and Venom was teams, was on teams on that game. Y'all y'all know what I'm talking about. Y'all remember Maximum Carnage? Man, this storyline in this book, fire, fire. I mean, it was worth it just for this storyline. But there are so many other good stories in here. And we get some of the top tier art on Venom in this omnibus. I'm telling you. I think, I think Venom even blows Spider-Man up. Like, man, this... This book was great. It's good when they take, it wasn't really creator centric, it was more character centric. And that's really what made it shine. They took some of the best Venom issues, some of the best Spider-Man issues, combined through them all in one, topped it off with that Maximum Carnage, and there you got a classic omnibus. I will never sell this, I will reread this at least once a year. It was that good. Next on my list, I gotta talk about Daredevil by Bendis. Now, what made this so great is, again, I, I was never a huge Daredevil fan. I mean, he was never on any of the video games that I played when I was young, or I never had any of his action figures, so I just never really connected with him. But after reading this, man, I was sold. I was sold. I picked up the whole set. Let me tell you about it. It's gritty. It's dirty. It's grimy. It's Hell's Kitchen, man. It's Hell's Kitchen. After I read this, I had to go watch the show. Like, that's how I know if a writer is doing his thing. Because after I get done with the book, if I want more, if I want more, shh, come on, man. That means the writer is in there really cooking up something. He in the kitchen. And Bendis, he was in his bag. Brody was in his bag for this one. Shout out Bendis, man. This got me into Daredevil 
Now, I'm going to flip the script. Go to sink, sink. When I was six years old, I was I was Wolverine for Halloween, y'all. I didn't have no claws. I put number two pencils in my hand, bruh. Number two pencils. <laughs> I thought I was Wolverine. Wolverine always been my favorite, one of my favorite characters from the X-Men. Him, Cyclops, Jubilee, and Colossus. Them is my top X-Men. You put them in a book, I'm sold. I don't care who else is in it. I don't care who's writing it. I am sold. But this run in particular, Jason Aaron showed his stuff. I'm talking about the first omnibus. Get Mystique. That storyline right there. And I love Mystique too. Mystique is, she's my favorite female X-Men. But yes, Get Mystique. That storyline was riveting. I was sucked in by it. I told you, this is the first time I actually read that storyline and went right back and read it again because it was that good. It it was a thriller. It was suspenseful. I mean, yes, the omnibus kind of tapers off a little bit after that, but he sets the bar so high, I kind of feel like he had no choice. So shout out to Jason Aaron for that wonderful Wolverine Volume 1 omnibus. Next, we're going to take it to... The one where people said he he was a Batman copycat. A Batman wannabe. No, I think they said he was a broke, poor man's Batman. Shh. Please, bro. Moon Knight by Houston. When I got a load of this, shh, I wanted more, man. I did not want this run to end. I was mad that it only, it was not a volume two available. Because this run was stellar. Top tier Moon Knight. I mean, it's dark. It's gritty. You know what I mean? It's got that feel. It's got that. It's got that dark alley. You know what I mean? Pop out in a trench coat feel. Like I'm telling you, it's got that feel to it. You know, it's really got that feel. I, I don't even want to say Gotham, but it's got that. It's got that feel, man. This this book was marvelous. It really had no lows. I mean, so street level. I mean, he didn't take on no super, super villains, but I love when they can take the hero and make you really connect to him through street level crimes. Because face it, street level crimes is what goes on in the real world. I mean, <laughs> if there were some super villains taking over, I mean, <laughs> we all be in trouble. So you can relate more to the superhero when he's taking on crimes that could actually happen in your backyard i mean he's taking out rapists he's taking out drug lords he's taking out gang lords i mean i, I in this book he actually cut off bushman's face bruh come on moon knight was on one in this one and i'm just happy that i got to experience it thank y'all for rocking with me this is Power Comics. I am your gracious host, Super Sean. Like, comment, subscribe to the channel, and don't miss that next video. Boom, boom.